So the Baltimore Ravens really signed the fastest player in the league, and this is like the best kept secret because we ain't been hearing nothing about it. There's been no noise on this subject whatsoever. So let's bring some attention to it. But before we get into it, make sure you click the thumbs up button, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel and turn them notifications on because I don't want you missing nothing. So without further ado, the Baltimore Ravens are bringing in wide receiver Todd Simmons Jr. from the National Arena League who has excelled at the spot. So on Saturday, July 6th, this was from Jacob Infante on Twitter. He said, update, the Ravens have signed free agent wide receiver Todd Simmons Jr. per source. Simmons is expected to compete for a spot as a kick returner. The former Dubuque standout hit 23.8 miles per hour in his workout with Baltimore, I'm told. So when I first heard about that miles per hour, 23.8 miles per hour, I was like, okay, I don't know why they listing that. I mean, I'm sure he's fast, but 23.8 miles per hour, is that really even that significant? So what I did, I said, you know what? Let me look up the fastest miles per hour from the players in the NFL from last season and see how he compares to those. And they gave me the top 10, but I don't even need numbers two through 10 because they mean nothing. Let's go to the number one, the fastest time in the NFL last year, according to miles per hour, it was DK Metcalf from the Seattle Seahawks. He ran a speed of 22.23 miles per hour. DK Metcalf. Some of the other fastest times were Tyreek Hill at 22.01 miles per hour, Devonna Chain at 21.93 miles per hour, Devonna Chain again, Tyreek Hill again, Tyreek Hill again, Derrick Henry. He hit 21.68 miles per hour. Ooh, okay, I like that. But anyway, we talk about that later. But all of these miles per hour, they like Todd Simmons Jr. He passes them all. So that shows just the crazy amount of speed that this guy has. And again, the Baltimore Ravens, they brought him in to be a kick returner, to compete for a kick returner role. So they really, like, really trying to shake some things up. Continuing with the article, it says, the update comes two days after Infant's original report where he posted that the Ravens were interested in the returner. Um, the Ravens depth chart currently lists Deontay Hardy, who signed a one-year deal with the Ravens earlier this season uh, as their kick returner. So... Right now, as far as the kick return role, it's Deontay Hardy, it's Tylen Wallace, and then it's Todd Simmons Jr. So he's going to have some work to do, but with the new kickoff rule, especially with a lot of teams focusing on having two kick returners, not one, but two kick returners, then he got a shot. He really got a shot. And then something else that was said is that he, he, he trained with Torrey Smith, and some of his nicest attributes – as a wide receiver are his explosive speed and also him being able to high point the ball. And if I recall, those were some of Torrey Smith's nice traits as well because Torrey Smith, he was a burner. Like, y'all already know, y'all remember, I'm sure. But then, you remember Joe Flacco, he would throw them jump balls to Torrey Smith. And Torrey Smith, you know, whenever that, the deep ball was on his way, Torrey Smith would go like this, like he was fair catching, and then come down with it. Or he would jump over the top of somebody like he did, Champ Bailey, sent Champ Bailey into retirement. But anyway, it's nice to know that Todd Simmons Jr. is connected with some very impactful Ravens, because Torrey Smith wasn't the only one. It says also, uh, Torrey Smith and Jacoby Jones, they were advocating for uh, Todd Simmons Jr. to get a camp invite and some numbers from last year he said he had 12 total touchdowns in just eight games this past season so that's fun to think about it's fun to think about just that crazy amount of speed that the Baltimore Ravens could have on the field obviously as a kick returner having speed there is essential it's a must but when you have elite speed it just brings your team up to a whole nother level but then picture this picture this like, the Baltimore Ravens, they have Lamar Jackson. And Derrick Henry, being on the top 10 list of miles per hour that was hit in the league just last year, I, I wouldn't expect Derrick Henry to be on that list. But that was a pleasant surprise, so that lets us know just how much he still got it. But then you think about Tez Walker. Tez Walker got some good speed, too. You think about Zay Flowers. You know that boy can move, and he's twitchy with it as well. Then you think about Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman is somebody who for years, me personally, and I got to apologize to Rashad Bateman, I had underrated his speed for a long time. But I stopped doing that a couple years back. Because Rashad Bateman, he got some speed, too. We don't always get to see it on in full capacity, but hopefully this year we'll get to see it consistent. But my point with saying all that, 
is that the Baltimore Ravens, they got a chance to do something that's not even fair to the league this year. And having so much speed in so many different areas on the field. Oh, that's a mismatch nightmare. Now, before we continue, I got to give a special shout out to the newest team. Keep it clean patron. My guy, Lux Life Pro. I appreciate you. Again, it was good meeting you the other day at Zay Day. Hopefully, you'll come through to Lamar Jackson, his fun day in a couple of days, too. But if not all good but i appreciate you supporting the channel if any of y'all would like to become team keep it clean patrons you can go to patreon.com slash engraven visit if you don't want to just make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe and have the notifications turned on now this next question came from my guy javo in regards to this pff list where they said building the perfect afc north team he said what would you change or would you leave everything as is what are your thoughts on this list so at the quarterback position they got Lamar Jackson no problem with that I agree I would have Joe Burrow as his backup uh, for the running back unit they chose the Baltimore Ravens now uh, with that a healthy Baltimore Ravens unit yeah I go with them all day because you would have Derrick Henry and Keaton Mitch oh my goodness that would be filthy and then still there's Justice Hill as well so can't forget about him because he came through last year uh receiving core the Bengals <laughs> I don't think anybody gonna argue that one like yeah they, they got it right now offensive line Cleveland Browns yeah Ravens offensive line right now a lot of question marks Bengals offensive line they usually get Joe Burrow beat up every year um, so yeah, we'll go with the Browns Defensive line, also Cleveland Browns Uh, you know what? Maybe Maybe, because Ravens, I mean, we got Matt Abike We got Michael Pierce, those two are really good man. So I mean, I, if it's based off of those two Then yeah, I could go Ravens or Browns or whatnot But continuing, linebacker unit, Baltimore Ravens So they, Roquan Smith, yeah And Trent Simpson, still a lot of unknown We only seen him in one game But, so Roquan Smith, yeah then I guess it's a mixing just outside linebackers, inside linebackers, a little bit of everything. David Ajabo, if healthy, okay. Uh, Dafe away, he been getting better. We just got to work on that consistency. So, yeah, they, they are outside line. They linebacker unit overall, they, they solid. There were some question marks, but healthy, they solid. Secondary, Ravens. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if it was just super-duper Kyle alone, it would have been a year. But it's super duper Kyle, it's Marcus Williams, Marlon Humphrey, Brandon Stevens, Arthur Millette, like yeah, Nate Wiggins, TJ, Th like yeah, they're secondary, we got it. So I, I think I, I pretty much agree with how PFF did this list. I, I think they got this one right. Now this next question came from my guy Davin from B More. He said, can you see uh, Breon Ramsey Brooks playing for the Ravens whenever he ends up hitting the draft? And that's a good question. That's a fun question because when you look uh, at him, uh, just looking at the numbers from jump, 6'5", 455 pounds. Now, I know sometimes those numbers, they can be a little bit overblown, uh, especially when it comes to height and weight and whatnot. But overblown, 455 being an overblown number, that would be something right there because what's the, the low on that? that? If that's a high, what is the low? My concern for him and not even only for the Ravens, but you know what, just specifically for the Ravens for now, how would he fit? Because we got Lamar Jackson as the quarterback. In my opinion, the Baltimore Ravens need an offensive linemen that are strong, which I'm sure he got that strength, but that can really move as well. How good would his conditioning be? Because there are linemen that are 100 pounds lighter than this, and sometimes they can struggle with their conditioning. So that would be one of my biggest, biggest, biggest concerns. And y'all know that that uh, conditioning test that we're going to start hearing about in a couple weeks because training came right around the corner. It ain't no joke for the Baltimore Ravens. It ain't no game. So it, for him as a Baltimore Raven right here, right now, and he's still super young. I don't see the fit, but a lot could change over time. He could make this complete transformation. Even He may even stay the same as he is now and become one of the most dominant offensive linemen uh, in college football. It's one of those things where really only time will end up telling his story.